Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get singles for all your Force of Will and other trading card games, as well as these amazing patrons. Extra special thanks to guest lecturer patron Ryan Lilly. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the video. Hey there, rulers. Demo73 here, bringing you the deck profile for the Freyla aggro that you saw played by Tyler last week. Sorry for the delay on this, but I wanted to get it to you guys. Super fun list uh, designed by Frank Klosser. Um, the man really likes Freyla and uh, definitely brought an interesting take uh, that kind of utilize the Freyla mechanics for this kind of explosive finish potential, as well as just kind of a way to continually apply pressure to your opponent. So obviously Freyla's our front, front side, Jasmine's for three, Energizes for darkness, and at the end of your turn, you can put a Dark Elf into your graveyard, from your, into your hand, and if you do, then it deals 300 damage to yourself. So keep in mind that it's not pay 300 life, do this, so if they cancel it or something, you just don't lose the life. And then when she flips over, she's a 10-8, uh, gets a Dark Elf from your graveyard into the field. Whenever she attacks, pumps up and gives another Dark Elf Swiftness and plus four. And then you can pay one red to give her Swiftness. So this is really interesting when you have, um, say, just Freyla in, and maybe a Freyla on board or a Freyla in grave or something like that. And you get to like four will, you can massively explode out a ton of damage with this card. Uh, and I'll kind of talk a little bit about it, exactly how that works here in just a little bit. Uh, specifically, if you get to like five will, you can explode a massive amount of damage out with this card in one turn, upwards of like three grand. Um, so then going into the main deck, we have the four Dark Elf Gravekeeper, primarily serving to either send a Majin Dark Elf or a Safina to a uh, grave. Um, Safina to turn on Hilda, and then Majin Dark Elf if you want to pay three life and bring it back to your hand. So it's kind of a... Um, accelerator for the deck while also being a 4-3 so it can produce a lot of damage there um one thing i do note is that freyla on her backside does actually have a way to burn your opponent uh so if you get them really close you can just like use that excess will to kill them rarely comes up because you're usually exploding past them for so much damage that you're just fine anyway but something to note um much in dark elf not really much to say here it's a powerful dark elf that swings for six as long as we burn ourselves with the null stone uh, two Safina and two Hilda. We really only need two of each um, because once you have one of each, they're pretty much going to keep coming back forever and ever and ever. Uh, and it's very easy to get your hands on both of them. A very powerful turn one is Dark Elf Gravekeeper to send Safina while you have Hilda in hand. And then next turn you play Hilda and get Safina back. Suddenly on turn two, you have three bodies. Uh, it's a lot of pressure. Um, we also play four Freyla, the Servant of Demon Fire. It's a swiftness creature. It can pump other things up to give it swiftness. We can recycle the stuff that it uh, she mills because of um, Freyla's effects. So we kind of burn ourselves to keep recycling the things we're giving swiftness. Four Jona Arc because we're a black aggro deck, so we might as well just throw in four Jons. Uh, works really, really well when you couple it with um, the March of the Dead, and I'll explain why that is in a little bit. Four Ray, the Black Owl, going over to zero. The deck has zero protection, so if we can flip over zero <laughs> effectively, we can keep a lot of our stuff safe and also have a flyer that we can use to push through damage. Three Astima, the Returning of Hatred. We're never going to be able to drain or like gain life off of her, at least unless we sideboard into Lucifer. But ultimately, she's a three drop five five or seven six flyer that drains five life and can help us draw cards. As well as if we get to a point where our opponent is at 500 life or less, we just pay grand and they're dead. Um, two Grims, Grim, Grims of the Grim of the Crimson Moon, super relevant card right now for being able to kill J rulers, as well as just in general dodging a lot of spot removal that's currently in the format, um, and also being a flyer, so it's just a good way to apply pressure. Um, and then Disgraced Knight, just as a one of, just to be able to recycle it. We play a ton of darkness cards, um, so eventually if this guy gets milled or anything else like that, you can just pay one and just keep bringing him back over and over again to apply that pressure. Uh, we play two March of the Dead. Now this is the big combo with this. If you awaken it and you target, say, Joan to Arc and Hilda while you have Safina in grave, this becomes pay three will, get three things, immediately turn on Joan to Arc. Because Joan will come in, Hilda will come in, Hilda will see there's no Safina, grab the Safina in grave, bring that in. And then suddenly Jean has three creatures on board, so she's got that swiftness and can't be destroyed just from one card. So you can get a lot of value off of March of the Dead with this card. Uh, just in general, even paying one can get you Hilda and Sesafina as well. So you can get two cards for one will. Great value there. 
Uh, two Look of Corruption and two Glint of Insight, just as a small discard package, primarily to protect Freyla or just kind of help us to ensure that we're getting that aggro through. Four Faith in the Darkness, as again, as an enabler for the deck consistency-wise. We're not running draw power, but this helps us dig into the creatures we need and can give us a 9-7 Freyla, or 9-7 Gene. And then lastly, three Life Severing Blade, just for some spot removal. Um, it's in black. If we lose one of our creatures, it becomes a one drop. It's just a solid card. And then stone-wise, we play four Null Magic Stone, three Demonic Soul Stone, just for that additional burn, and then three Stone for the Dark Castle to get some mystery counters, to turn on Grim, to turn on Glint of Insight, and that kind of stuff. The sideboard is not here, but you can tech in a sideboard package with Lucifer works really nicely so that in game two, you know, you play Lucifer and then if you need to, you to go back to game three, you can work back into Freyla and kind of throw some people off. But that is the deck. Let me know what you guys think or if you think you have a different take on the concept of Freyla. I know we saw the one at the GP Minneapolis stream. That was really awesome. But let me know your thoughts about this older ruler getting some love. And uh, until next time, this has been DMO73 saying class dismissed.